Finding love in this modern world needs modern dating practices because right now dating can feel like a waste of time when it's in fact the most incredible time in history to find love. Of course, finding love comes down to a number of factors like timing and relationship readiness. But what really matters in this age of dating is strategy. Now more than ever, if you want to find love sooner rather than later, you need a clear and winning strategy. Because I can assure you the modern dating culture is starting to wire your brain to stay single and you don't even know it's happening. Look around you, sure, men and women are meeting and experiencing attraction and relationships and yet ghosting, orbiting and empty promises are seeing men and women becoming more and more disillusioned. And this disillusion is killing attraction and killing our motivation to find love. But it doesn't have to. This is why a new strategy for finding love is desperately needed because we're losing touch with what it means to be human and this is keeping people single. What I mean by this is that humans are flawed. No one is perfect. We cannot please everyone in all ways and this is where dating is getting complicated. This is why today I want to take the best of old school dating and the best of modern dating to give you a foolproof winning strategy so you can get off the single dating treadmill. Hi, I'm Nadine Peart, a confidence dating and lasting attraction coach for smart savvy women and the founder of Healthy You, Healthy Love. Now before we continue, please be sure to comment below and let me know if there's anything specific that you'd like help with and if there's a topic you'd like me to do a video on. I want to find out who you are and what your needs are so I can support you on your path to big, sexy and united love. And if you're new and haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please click the subscribe button and the bell button to get notified of my next video and of course give me that thumbs up. Now before we get to merge old school with modern dating, let's first take a look at the pros and cons of each. Old school dating pros and cons. For traditional dating before the birth of the internet and smartphones, the con was you didn't have much choice. You were limited to the men who live within your general vicinity or men you met at work through friends or out socially. With less choice, it was harder to find a truly compatible partner. Sure, some people got lucky and met their true love match old school style, though often men and women would make do with what they had, suck up the fact that they weren't so happy because hey, there was no one more suitable around. The pro was this lack of choice pushed us harder to make a relationship work. Old fashioned dating habits typically saw both men and women making more of an effort to get to know each other beyond surface level attraction. Less choice or partner options made daters more accepting and open to the possibility of a relationship developing before they decided whether the person was a good fit or not. Now the pros and cons of modern day dating. The pros of dating in the modern world is that we can filter out men by looks and whatever they have written on their profile. We now have so much darn choice. It's amazing, right? You just fire up an app and you can get matches within the hour. In fact, you can be on 10 or more dating sites or apps and be meeting multiple men at any one time. If you start chatting to a man who doesn't seem all that interesting via messages, you can unmatch and move on to the next. But here's the big con. All of those pros are also cons. Just like our greatest strengths can be our greatest weaknesses in life, when you overdo or misuse something, it can work against you. This abundance of choice online has spilled over into how we handle face-to-face -face dating. Even when people go on first dates, the first impression they get is usually enough to decide whether to pursue that relationship or not. After all, there are still other men on the app to choose from. Now that I've outlined the pros and cons of traditional and modern dating practices, I'm going to teach you how to merge the best of the old and the new to create the perfect winning dating strategy. And this strategy has one main focus for you to build a healthy relationship fast, rather than aimlessly jumping from person to person. Here are three ways to do this. Number one, recognize that choices have limits. Having a lot of choice is fabulous, and yet choice is both a gift and a curse, especially when you're not sure about what you truly want in a partner. 
too much choice creates indecision and it's made us pickier than ever before. It's like having a lot of clothes in your wardrobe with so many outfits, it can be hard to decide which outfit is best for the occasion. But if you only have a few outfits to choose from, it's easier to get dressed. You choose the best out of three instead of 50. When it comes to dating, recognize the beauty in choice while opening your eyes to its limitations and how it's working against you. Also, it's not unusual to feel overwhelmed by choice. Or perhaps choice isn't the issue. Deep down, you may worry that dating is simply a distraction for some more deeper fears you might have around finding love and your own ability to be loved or desired. If this is what you sense could be happening for you, then I'd love to share my free quiz. You see, most of us have some emotional blocks when it comes to finding love, which can certainly show up in the way we go about dating and attracting that special relationship. That's why this quiz is so brilliant. It reveals if you're experiencing what I call one of the four romantic love syndromes. You can find the link to my free romantic love block quiz in the description below. Now that brings us to our second point, number two, don't dismiss people too quickly. Maybe the reason why you can't find love is because you dismiss men too quickly. I'm not saying don't have standards, standards are great. I want you to have healthy and reasonable standards and yet if you dismiss a man just because they didn't live up to your dating expectations on the first date alone, then you might miss the opportunity to get to know someone who could actually be a great guy. These days both men and women are looking for perfection, where they'd be best looking for compatibility. Sure, not every man or woman looking for love seeks perfection. And yet, as I said, we don't really know how deeply the digital dating world has been shaping our brains to look for the perfect match. But perfection does not exist. No man will have the perfect job, body, family background, political persuasion, sense of humor, or income. It's next to impossible to get all of what you think you need and want in one person, and yet we think we will one day find this unicorn. Number three, go beyond the first date. True and lasting love doesn't happen on the first date, not even on the first few dates. One of the first dating tips I give my clients is to go on at least four to five dates before you decide if he's for you or not. If you don't get a bolt of hot desire running through your veins the second you lay eyes on each other, then know that this is not an indication of whether you're compatible or not. If he was shy or timid, or you found out he likes music that you don't like, don't give up immediately. These are not deal breakers. You need more time and information. A lot of men tend to relax and get comfortable after a couple of dates. This is when their personality and strengths tend to shine. Instead, start looking for things that build a long-term relationship, like whether your core values are aligned or whether you have similar life goals and lifestyles. Now, just a quick caveat here. If the man you're on a first date with shares things that go against your core values or he just flat out creeps you out, then listen to that. Don't go on a second date. But if he's simply not knocking your socks off and yet he seems kind, perhaps interesting, a gentleman, great values, then keep dating him. You've got nothing to lose and a lot to potentially gain. So there you have it, three modern dating rules to help you find love faster in a world full of options. And like I said at the beginning, focus on building a healthy relationship rather than aimlessly jumping from person to person. It's time to rewire our brains to appreciate that true love is not something that's instant. It takes time to develop, and that's the winning strategy for today's modern world. Well, that's it for today's video. If you haven't yet, please subscribe, comment, and give this video the thumbs up, and please share it with a friend who is also looking for love and will benefit from this modern dating strategy. It's been a great honor to have you here with me. I encourage you to choose to show love a little more in some way every day and see you again at my next video.